community. Today I wanted to share with you three tips that I have for using um, a compass or perhaps uh, looking at investing in a compass as well. So instead of um, a small compass, I actually made an enlarged drawing. Hopefully uh, you guys can see this pretty well. Ignore the um, art part of my drawing. I'm not an artist. So uh, this is merely for educational purposes. Um, tip number one, um, be sure that you are familiar with all of the basic features of a standard compass as well as different advanced options you might find. So some of these may include um, a global needle, a sighting mirror, a declination adjustment, and a, clino a clinom clinom clinometer. Excuse my pronunciation. So a clinometer uh, provides for um, actually helping you become aware of avalanche hazards, which can be really useful if you're hiking in winter, perhaps backcountry skiing, hiking combination. Um, a sighting mirror offers a much more exact navigation, while a global needle provides for accurate na navigation both above and below the equator. So those are some of your advanced features that you're going to find on compasses. Uh, the photo that I'm holding um, hopefully is able to show you most of these standard features, such as your uh, declination adjustment, uh, your needle housing, uh, the actual magnetized needle itself, um, your orienting lines, your orienting arrow, your index lines, this is your base plate, and um, this is your direction of travel arrow, and then it shows just um, where your rulers are on both sides. So, being aware of features, tip number one. Uh, tip number two, be aware that other metal objects can actually distort a compass and keep them away from those things, um, whether that's your car or a metal pole. Um, tip number three, store your compass away from other um, electrical fields, um, so or any magnetic fields in general, really, including your cell phone or even perhaps uh, metal clasps. So it's a good idea to really... Uh, store that compass with um, perhaps some of your backpacking gear that uh, doesn't have metal or any kind of electrical field on it, like maybe perhaps your sleeping bag, pillow, clothing, etc. So quickly to recap, uh, three tips for using a compass. Um, know the basic features of a standard compass as well as some of the advanced features. And some of those advanced features include a global mirror, a global needle, a sighting mirror, um, declination adjustment, um, which actually I find more of a standard feature, um, so that's arguable, but either way it's important to note, and a uh, clinon clinometer, <laughs> I've been trying to pronounce that all day, a clinometer uh, provides for helping you determine avalanche hazards, which can be useful for winter hiking, um, a sighting mirror offers more exact navigation, and a global uh, needle is great if you're traveling anywhere like below the equator, so it provides for navigation both above and below. Uh, tip number two, uh, be aware that other metal objects can actually distort a compass, so keep your compass away from those things, um, including your car or a metal pole or anything metal really is your best bet. And uh, the same goes for storage. So you want to store your compass away from any other um, magnetic or electrical fields. And this could include um, any kind of electronics such as your cell phone. I hope you found uh, these three tips in this lovely diagram useful for um, learning some features and tips for using a compass. So thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, it's Amanda. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you're new to hiking and backpacking, I just wanted to recommend that you check out our Adventure Academy Summit, where you'll find everything you need to know to learn how to become a safe and confident hiker. In Summit, we have tons of video courses, eBooks, and downloadable cheat sheets. We also do weekly live webinars where you can get any questions that you might have on a variety of subjects answered in real time. Summit also comes with a really convenient mobile app.
which includes sort of a mini Facebook for all of its members uh, built into the platform. So you can connect with other adventure junkies in your area um, at your convenience. It's really cool. Um, if you want to give it a chance, um, check it out and go to the adventurejunkies.com forward slash academy or click the link in the description below. I look forward to seeing you in Summit.